Um, well, the last few days we were discussing about um, subject Anchorage Youth Net Enterprises. And uh, I will give you our definition of it. Um, we think it's a, a youth business uh, where uh, you can learn how to start and how to run their business with um, uh, how to sell and how to make and how to promote their products so that they get involved in society and in the business life. And in, uh, it's all in, addi in uh, addition with uh, how to earn their own money. In Amsterdam, the question was how to encourage. And we went to the group and discussed with them that it was to make youth learn in a place as part of school curriculum to get them started and have them continue outside of school. And in, co in, co in constitution, having a law in, in interest laws available to youth can facilitate the process of creating a youth lead business. Um, we are going to say some examples that we have from our countries and some examples that we came up with about youth-led enterprise. Um, in Puerto Rico, there is a, an agricultural project started by the kids from the school. It's part of the school, uh, the program of the school. An agricultural project um, started by the kids and the government is um, supporting them. Um, the idea is for us to start a culture, a habit and a culture of being uh, more sustainable in our country because we are a little bit, there is a very huge issue of dependence in the United States. So the idea is for other kids to start um, ourselves, a business or an enterprise that supports, that supports um, Puerto Rico and its sustainability. Um, in Norway, we have a subject uh, at the schools which uh, the students can choose in the 12th and 13th grade, which is called entrepreneurship. Uh, in this subject, they, um, they gather in groups and create small businesses where they can either produce things for sale or they can um, have services that they offer for the customers. Uh, the students have to um, do everything on those uh, businesses from uh, starting it up to accountants, to producing, and to uh, uh, marketing their, uh, their products. This is a very versatile and um, a very practical um, learning experience, which many other cultures, uh, countries can learn from. Back home in Ghana, normally we, the children, uh, make beads out of papers and sell it out to earn some money. And why we need to encourage youth-led enterprises because uh, when youth-led enterprises are encouraged, it helps the youth to learn how to earn money. And out of earning money, they learn how to save it, and in the future, they can become good entrepreneurs. <laughs> Uh, they can go to the school and 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 they can go to the